Hello, map game enjoyers. It's me, Strategy Games Tylenol, and welcome back to the Victoria 2 A to Z series, the series where I play all the interesting nations in Victoria 2 from A to Z. And today, I have a really, really awesome nation. That's right, today we will be playing in Korea. Korea's in a weird position at the start of the game, I'm not gonna lie. We are a puppet of the Chinese Empire, which um, might limit us at the beginning of the game. That being said, it doesn't stop us from taxing all all the homies. Before we get into this video, we need to have a chat. So, Victoria 3 gameplay trailer has released, and it says right here, coming 2022. And I think everybody knows the pace at which I release Victoria 2 A to Z videos. And for that reason, we will not finish the series before Victoria 3 releases. So I'd like some advice in the comment section. Should I continue Victoria 2 A to Z after Victoria 3 comes out? It's been a long time since I've played in continental Asia, so I really don't remember when or if I get my independence from China but I count down the days until I do because I don't want to be a silly vassal. When I was Hyderabad, I spent enough time as a silly vassal, thank you very much. I'm worried that within this playthrough, I'm gonna get split into North and South Korea because uh, historically, things do not go that well for Korea. So our first order of business is to westernize and I'm gonna do that by accepting the Wind of Westernization event. We straight up don't have a military anymore because I just can't afford it. Four million people live here and they can't afford to fund about 30,000 in the military. We need to fix the economy. Some would say that it's important to get your funny up and your money up. In Victoria 2, they'd say it's important to get your literacy up and yeah, get your money up, but we are failing at that. I passed the foreign universities reform, which allows us to change our national value. Tradition is bad because it gives minus 10% research points. We're gonna pick productivity and get our industry going. Now we're growing our research points very quickly and we should be able to westernize soon. And I wanna do it quickly because China has put a lot of troops on my border and I don't like that. We've been added to the Russian spear. This is quite humiliating, Russia. How dare you? I'm so excited actually to play the Qajar Empire because there is so much stuff going on here. I have no idea what any of it means and I can't wait to unpack it. People are an open revolt within my country. I have a feeling this will negatively affect the tuna populations. Now the Chinese have invaded me. I think that makes us a puppet of China again. I don't know, I'm not that worried. We'll break free after we westernize. Ah, and now China has totally abandoned us, which releases us from being a puppet. That scares me a little bit because, you know, Japan has unified. You saw my last video where I played as Japan. You know what I did to Korea. I don't want that to happen to me this game. I'm at war with the French and China is the war leader, but I thought China abandoned me because I'm no longer a puppet. So I don't really understand the geopolitics in this time period. Hopefully France doesn't tear me into little tiny bits. All right, no more rebellion in Korea. The reactionaries are rising up. They must know that we are super close to westernization only about a thousand more points. All right, industrialized and westernized Korea, here we come. So Korea looks good for industrialization. We have a bit of coal in the south. Up here we have coal and iron. Awesome RGOs. And over here, yeah, yeah, we don't talk about over here. At the moment, I find myself stuck in between Japan and China. China just has a lot of troops and will overrun me. Japan has a lot of tech and will crush me. So I don't like my position. Japan has declared themselves the empire of the sun. Little do they know that as their sun rises, they may inadvertently cause the sunset of Korea. I didn't know that slavery was still around in Korea during this period. 13% of our population is slaves, so we gotta get rid of that as fast as possible, outlawed. But don't get your hopes up too quick. Just because you're not slaves doesn't mean that you won't be slaves to my capitalist factories. I'm gonna get rid of serfdom too, because it also really hurts the economy. Germany just made Russia release Latvia. Russia. You're gonna stand there and take that? I would fight if I were you, man. Japan is invading me in order to make me a puppet. Come on, Japan. I thought we were cool, man. This war is an L, so we're gonna become a puppet of Japan and hope that they refrain from pushing the event that says Annex Korea. This isn't actually the worst thing in the world because I get these bonuses because my liege owns the tech. So I'm just gonna chill for five or 10 years, research myself up to speed, and then I will go after Japan. 
It's been several years and I've been able to build up just a massive army that should be able to defeat Japan. So I'm gonna declare war and beat them. Japan has attacked me on my soil. I'm gonna bring in all these troops. We're gonna have a massive battle and I think we can win just because they get so many debuffs from crossing the river. Go back to the Japanese Isles, please. That's what I'm talking about. The Korean military is superior to that of the Japanese. And here they are for round two. Let's beat them again. That's what I'm talking about. Half a million casualties at that one battle. Epic victory for Korea. And now Japan is willing to let me go as a independent nation. Sorry Japan, your tricks won't work on me. I hope that Japan will see the writing on the wall and leave me alone for the rest of the game. But I have a feeling that they might be back, so I've gotta get stronger. Maybe by becoming a colonial nation, I will be well respected enough that Japan will leave me alone. Sorry Philippines, you briefly got your independence. That's short-lived, I'm afraid to say. Perfect, Korean Philippines. Next up, we're going to war with Dai Nam in order to take another valuable colony in Asia. Honestly surprised that at this point in the game, France hasn't taken this, but uh, I I'm glad they haven't. There we go, Korean Vietnam has been formed. Let's go. The French have lost it completely this game. They have Egypt and West Africa, but it doesn't matter because they don't have what really counts. Alsace Lorraine. I'm gonna go to war with China now in order to acquire my core. The Chinese military is made of paper, but man, there are a lot of them. Yikes, 100,000 casualties on their side, 90,000 casualties on my side. This is a costly war. Japan, you want an alliance? I mean, sure, but don't try anything funny. Come to China with me. That's a victory over China, and now we look kind of big and weird and a little bit gross, but I'm happy because we got more pops. All this war and conquest comes at a cost. We are unironically $600,000 in debt. Take that in for a second. When I decided to go to war with Siam, I didn't realize it would look quite that bad. I'm just gonna forget that that exists and only look up here. Latvia got bigger. I'm so proud of them. Keep beating up the Russians. Latvia reformed into something I can't pronounce. Come on, Latvia, why'd you have to embarrass me in front of my viewers? And now, Germany annexed Latvia. How dare you, man? You are a evil, evil conqueror. I'm gonna claim Greater Korea. This gives me cores on a bunch of territory I've conquered and Russian territory. I get it on these bottom two states and I get it on Port Arthur. So I'm gonna have to go to war with Russia at some point to get my cores back. They do still have a pretty sizable army though. I don't think I'm prepared. Actually though, I'm allied with Japan and they should join the war. So I'm gonna call them in against the Russians and we are going to win the Korean slash Japanese slash Russian war. We have bumped Russia from great power. They'll probably be back though. They have a lot of industrial score. We have defeated the Russians. Now I would be lying if I said that the Japanese didn't put in most of the work and most of the hours, but we stayed hungry and we devoured, and now we're taking what's ours. See, doesn't that look much better? This was all made possible by my best friend, Japan. See, Japan helped me get Vladivostok off the Russians, and I helped Japan get Taiwan off of China. It's a mutualistic relationship. At first, I thought that Spain had been entirely conquered by the British Commonwealth, but no, they're just the same color because Spain is a communist nation. Something about this arrangement hurts my eyes, so I'm not going to look over there anymore. Either people really like me or they hate the Italians because we just destroyed Italy in this crisis. Considering Italy annexed central Saudi Arabia, I think it's more that people just hate Italy. I'm getting so much deja vu from the Japan video, because once again I have to put down the Boxer Rebellion. Oh no, China just westernized. This is going to be a wild ride from here on out. Well China, I thought you might be a threat, but after you did this to yourself, I'm not so certain anymore. I honestly kind of feel bad. It gives me an opportunity to take more Chinese territory. That is really beautiful. Capitalists have funded 1.1 million dollars 
for a steel mill that will cost $6,800. I feel like there is a lack of understanding of math within the capitalist community. Germany has most certainly seen better days. Be careful with the political leaders you put in charge, Germany. You wouldn't want a surge of fascism in your own country. It is time for the sixth war of British aggression against the Ecuadorian liberation of Cauca against the German Empire in Colombia. You're telling me that there have been six Ecuadorian liberations of Caca and every single time the British have gotten involved in a war of aggression? I don't think I want to get involved in this. And now I'm going to annex the Philippines a second time. I've become a menace. Can we have a moment of silence for Russia? Ever since we beat them in Manchuria, they just, they've never been the same. They're a hot mess. I have to be in a great war this game, and I stand to gain more from dismantling the French than dismantling the Italians, so I'm gonna side with the Italians. I didn't really think about how I would get to Europe to fight the French, but I don't really feel like I need to be there. The Italians are doing a pretty darn good job. This doesn't even count as a great war. I don't even think there's been a great war yet. One of the largest Chinese nations has declared war on me for their land back. That just makes me feel sad. Can't you let me have this little tiny bit of China? White peace -um. In China, at the same time, there is Republic of China and there is THE Republic of China. You know things would be better for you if you both formed one nation, right? Which Republic of China do you guys like better? The one on the top or the one on the bottom? Leave your response in the comment section. It's like left Twix and right Twix, except it's top China and bottom China. Anyway, Victoria 2 enjoyers, that's it for this video. The game keeps crashing on me and I really don't want to deal with that anymore, so I'm ending the video here. The world is so bad in this game. Europe, that's the worst I've ever seen Europe. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you enjoy Victoria 2 A to Z and you'd like to see more videos, please click the like and subscribe button. We did pretty good this game. We are seventh great power, although we're not much behind the other people. I'm really surprised that we were able to do this a lot with help from Japan. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.